Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So, what's up in Japan? Microsoft announced on January 9th of 2017 that Scalebound has been cancelled. All the trailers and promotional material has since been removed as if it had never existed. But we all remember that trailer of the Xbox One exclusive that looked very similar to Monster Hunter, but with much better graphics. It was first revealed in 2014 by Platinum Games, and well into 2015, it was reported that Scalebound was making good progress. During 2015, Platinum Games also announced that there will be four player co op and that the game is looking good for a holiday release in 2016. In an interview with the director Kami Ahideki, it was even reported that this was his dream game. At the beginning of 2016, it was announced that Scalebound was delayed to 2017. And at E3, they showed off some gameplay that included the promised four player co op. And then we have the cancellation that happened early 2017 with rumors of Hideki taking time off. There were other rumors that the game was in a state of development hell, where they were severely behind schedule and had many struggles with the team's chosen game engine. It became so intense that many senior members of the team were forced to take months off. I guess Microsoft did not want a Final Fantasy XV to happen to them. Where they would have invested too much before realizing it was too late to back out and end up taking 10 years to release the title. Director Hideki Kamiya took it on Twitter to give a direct message to his fans. He started with, as you may have already heard, Scalebound has unfortunately been cancelled. I'm very sorry to everyone who was looking forward to this game. Sorry to bring such bad news at the start of the year. All I can do for you is to promise to keep delivering fun games. I'll work extra hard to never have to let you down like this again. So, I hope you will keep watching over us in the future too. But it seems like Platinum Games has been in a serious rut these last few years. After the excellent Bayonetta 2 in 2014, they released a slew of mediocre games like The Legend of Korra, Transformers Devastation, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. Those games didn't do anything for their brand and, in fact, may have tarnished their reputation. So, it is no wonder that the founder and director of Platinum Games. Felt the need to apologize when the game that was supposed to get them out of this deepening hole was cancelled. In a following tweet, he confirmed that he was in fact not taking a break to dispel the rumors of him taking time off. The tweet said, And I took time off for my mental health? Me? No way. Imagine working on something for two years non stop, probably at least 16 hours a day, and to have it cancelled on you and still have to deal with the public. I would have to say, Kamiya is taking it like a champ. And if you know anything about Kamiya and his antics, you should know how active he is with his fanbase on the internet. And it really shows how much his fans care about him when you look at the comment section and this tweet. I thought I would get lots of savage messages, but in reality, I'm getting lots of war messages. Thank you, Cryface. So at least he seems to be doing alright after this whole fiasco. Let's just hope he gets right back on his feet and gets started on his next project. So, what did you think of Scalebound's cancellation and Kamiya Hideki's response to it all? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And for more about the latest things people are talking about in Japan, make sure to subscribe so you can get your daily fix of Japan right in your inbox. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.